Before this video starts, I just want to say a quick reminder that if you want to join my Discord, the link to that will be in the top of the description. Also, tomorrow for me, I'm posting this video, the 20th of June, I will be hosting my fashion contest where you can win 15 million GP if I think you have the best looking in-game fashion scape. And it is at 5 BST slash 6 CEST. And uh, I would love to see you there. Enjoy the video. So I want to continue my grind on the giant mole. I actually really would like the pet and 92, that's a big hit. Um, I actually really enjoyed this boss. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I do. It is so easy to kill. The pet chance is 1 in 3000, which is not too bad because of how fast you can kill the boss. And as I said in my last video, the money is very good. So I'm going to actually be here for a while and uh, let's see what we can uh, get from this boss. Ooh, that is a 1 in 2000 drop rate, but uh, yeah, not quite as rare as the pet, so it's not too bad, I guess. So I doubled my KC, I have 400 now, for some reason it only tracked 399, I think one of the kills was killed by someone else, but I actually got the loot when I had to tell you out on low HP. But yeah, 400 KC and 10 million profit is very good. I got a long bone at 476 KC. I've started to use a cannon by the way, because that makes it a bit easier to sometimes kill it before it digs down. And I, uh, well, that happened just when I said that. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to go for 1000 kills, I think. I think that's a good point to stop at. And uh, it's a one third chance pretty much to get a pet, as it's a 1 in 3000 drop rate. So let's see if we can manage to get the pet in that. Of course it would be lucky, but you never know. So I'm at 627 KC of mole right now, so I'm getting closer to that 1k kills, but look at this, I've gained 346,000 attack experience from this, which is very nice, but I'm actually recording here because, look at this, my gear is about to break. I started the mole grind with 100 of all, on all of these items, and they're almost, well, the axe is still 50, so... Uh, it's it's like less than halfway to uh, or more than halfway to 25 so i've actually been here for quite a long time but uh, yeah i'm still enjoying it a lot at the 627 kc so getting to that 1k will still be uh, not too bad something i'm really happy about is uh, the price of prayer potions dropping a lot i mean prayer potions were like 15 16 k for the longest time. It was actually insane. I don't know why exactly. I guess it's because of the Nightmare of Ashihama release as well as the Corona thing. So many people being home. They just spiked in price like crazy but they're actually crashing now. And I'm not sure why that is. I, I don't really have the information about it but uh, they did crash like crazy. So I'm really happy about that actually because that makes it way cheaper to PVM and uh, I can m easier make money now. Sins of the Father is completed and I can actually use Dark Mayor now and uh, I'm actually going to try to see if I can uh, spend some time here and take a break from Giant Mole to see if I can get a Blood Shard and uh, that is an attachment to I think the Amulet of Torture or the uh, ranged one that you can put on and it will actually heal you sometimes so it's a very good addition to it and I think it says it is supposed to be a rare drop from these sentinels and uh, it's a lot of people farming these. There's cannons up here and I think I found a pretty good spot here and uh, I'm going to kill quite a few of them at least and see if we can manage to get one. On my way to 1000 kills of the wires I actually got a bloodshot on 400 KC. Probably saw that in the uh, last video that I posted. Yeah, pretty lucky actually. I think it's going to be worth quite a lot but it's not the best item in the game actually I've seen some uh, reviews of it now and it's actually not that good but it might sell for a couple of mil it actually sold for 5 million GP which is very good it was 10 mil yesterday so it is crashing like crazy but it is very understandable as the item is actually not that great just a small upgrade to the fury and also it actually depletes very fast and it actually drains charges even though it is not healing you which is pretty bad. It has 10k charges and it heals you pretty much once every 10 hits. So it's only going to heal you in theory 1000 times even though it has 10,000 charges. I finished killing 1000 of them and I got 2 blood shards in total and the other one sold for 7.3 million even though I thought they were crashing. So very good profit there like 12 million from just 2 blood shards. So I've been back to mole for a bit and I just hit 1000 KC on this boss. I was actually killing some of it on not the normal rune like lines on phone and in another place. So 
Actually, most of it wasn't tracked, or I would say about 350 of the kills was not tracked. So I'm just going to go to my bank and show you guys the total loot. Unfortunately, I did not get the pet, but it was pretty much 1 in 3 chance with a 1000 KC, but it looks very nice to have that many killed. Of course, the majority of the money is from the mole skins and mole claws, which is like you get double the amount of skins as claws and the claw is 6.7k and the skin is pretty much the same. So the skin is going to be worth double the amount, but you have at least a guaranteed like 13k drop every single time. And then the U logs are worth quite a lot, 2 million, and the blood runes are 1 million roughly, so 3 million there. The iron arrows probably aren't worth a lot, 180k still is not too bad for a stackable drop you can pick up. But let's see the total loot from 1000 mole kills, roughly 22 million, and I would add probably to like 24 mil in total loot of like alkyballs and some iron ore that I just didn't take out right now. But yeah, 22 million from Giant Mole is very nice profit. So I do actually want to get my total level up a bit uh, because I want to be able to use the 2k and 2.2k worlds in the future. So I just saw that I had 63 fishing and I have been AFK fishing for a bit now and I am 69. So I'm going to try to get 70 fishing here and then I'll do something else. But uh, I need to also get rune crafting up but that's not going to be in this video but that is very nice now that I can mine that dealt uh, essences in the uh, dark mayor area for 50% more rune crafting experience for sure will help out a lot in uh, such an annoying skill. One fish away from 70 and then I'll do something else. There we go, 70 fishing, it looks a bit more even on my stats now. Actually it looks very nice on this side, unfortunately I have some skills that are higher but all these three 70s in a row looks pretty nice. I am by no means an expert at raiding, like not even near it, but some people wanted to see how I do the hand running, at least with mage in the last video, so this is how I do it, I have these tiles marked and uh, you pretty much just want to run to the one I'm standing on right now, and then the head turns and you run to the farthest right one pretty much, and then you run back to this one and the head will turn all the way to the left side. I think it can sometimes, if you splash, not go all the way to the left, which will make you take a hit. Like there for example, it turned in the middle now and I did take a hit, but if you just reset it again and you go to the furthest right side, or the furthest left side, you can reset the head. So I am, as I said, by no means an expert at this. I feel like I'm getting a lot better at it though and failing way less. In the mage phase, I'm definitely taking way less damage than I am doing with the melee hand. Melee running is way harder in my opinion, but uh, feels good to at least have the mage hand decently down now. 27k point raid, but uh, no purple on this one, raid 24. And the loot is 300k, pretty mediocre. A bit less points this one, 25,000, but the raid was a bit faster, 49 minute raid. And uh, no purple this time either, I have quite a decent amount of supplies left, so I didn't actually use that much on all, which is a good sign, but... That loot was pretty bad. Oh, 300k. I felt like I wasn't really hitting that consistently with my dragon crossbow in the last phase. So I thought, why not just try an entire head kill with the blowpipe? And look at the hits. I'm actually hitting pretty consistently. I do really like the blowpipe on Ohm. Like, every single time the head went to 20%, I would use my blowpipe. And I felt like the head would die so fast from that percentage. And getting it to 20% felt very slow with the dragon crossbow. So, I, I can maybe save one inventory space by just bringing a blowpipe instead of actually bringing a crossbow as well to the head phase. Not sure if it's worth it though, I will have to uh, try this out for a bit. Try to raid without void actually, I bought bandos and all this and a 45 minute raid is actually not bad. I am, actually did it with a death but yeah, pretty nice. Actually can't do more than like 3 or 4 raids without getting kind of bored with it. I mean it's like 3 hours of doing raids, solo raids, which uh, is a bit more draining than doing it in groups. But uh, I'm going to do some Slayer, but I'm going to get back to raids later in the video and finish off 30 raids. Hopefully I can get something in those last 3 raids that I'm going to do. But let's see what assignment I can get. Skeletal Vibrance, very easy. How many points do I actually have right now? I have 500 points, so I can skip tasks if I get really annoying ones, but it would be nice to get some boss tasks. And Slayer experience-wise, I am 500, 
71k of 98. Very nice. Cave Kraken task can definitely do with 35 of them. That is a very fast task and a small chance of the pet this time. Unless I get something here, I didn't get uh, anything great from that task, but 5000 Slayer experience is always nice from boss tasks. So actually I have like 20 million GP I can get for free because I have the house decoration from the Twisted League, but I think if you change it to something else, you're going to get the blueprints back. Yeah, there we go. Twisted blueprints and I feel like I can make better use of that 20 million in uh, PVM supplies and gear than just having a decoration. I'm not sure if it's actually going to sell for 20 mil, but it is definitely worth that in the value in, uh, well, when you examine it at least. It might actually have sold for more than that, because it instantly sold for the uh, medium price, so let's see. Oh, 22 million, so yeah, 1.5 million more than that. I'm not sure what I'm going to buy with this money, but it's going to be very nice for more raid supplies. My current loot tab, or not loot tab, um, gear supply tab is 300 mil right now, because I bought Bandos gear. And I have some good stuff here to use for raiding, and this is going to help that a bit even more. Maybe I can get some more money and then get some armadillo pieces instead of carols. Some thermi, yeah, I can do 35 of those. Maybe I can uh, get another smoke battle staff in that. Nothing really too interesting on this task, but uh, current case is 863. I can actually use this uh, block slot now because I got the worms and I really do not want to do them. So I have quite a lot of points. I thought that would be a good block and 201 lizard men. Oof, uh, I'm not really into doing that right now. So I'm going to cancel that. That's a lot of lizard men. Uh, spiritual creatures. I should actually have that blocked as well to be honest. But these are all really annoying tasks. So I'm going to skip that as well. Can we get a good one now please? Blood vaults. Yeah, that's very easy. I was actually trying not to miss this, but uh, I did anyways. 96 attack, only 3 more levels until another 99, and now with my whip that I have 99 strength, I can actually do uh, just straight up attack or defense training, so those 99s should be fairly quick. I feel like this is a thing in every video now. I, I feel like I actually get Aviancis uh, in every single video, but uh, I mean, getting armadillo items is very good, and as I was talking about in the earlier clip, if we get a chest plate or chain skirt now, that would be uh, pretty nice for raiding. Might have to tele out here. Uh, if I drop below 30 HP, I'm actually insta tellying out. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty much. Oh, come on, 13 HP? I'm 1 HP. Wait, I got tele on 1 HP. Oh, I didn't get the kill though. Well, okay. But yeah, I'm going to end the task there with 37 kills left, I'll just do it on the normal ones, but uh, I didn't get anything this task, but of course I have been super lucky with Kriara in general. I'm kind of torn, like I've finished the entire collection log, it would be nice to have a low KC on Kriara at 271 with a completed log, but still I've got so much money from doing that boss, so... I kind of still want to keep uh, doing Kriara tasks, but uh, if I get like three tasks in a row where I get nothing, which is not even that uh, rare that that would happen, then I might chill a bit on the boss, but we will see. Back to raiding again, first raid uh, a bit scuffed I guess, 23.8k points, no purple yet, that is raid 28, I'm going to do two more, so let's see if we can get anything good in those two raids. Bit of a longer one, one hour raid, no purple this time, 27,000 points, but let's see what the worth is at least. Okay, that is terrible, pure essence is always so bad, 150k. So that is raid number 30, and I have been experimenting with bringing no dragon crossbow and only use a blowpipe for the last phase. It worked really well once or twice, but I would say bringing a crossbow is definitely better. But I do get one less Sarah Domin brew that way, and I am definitely still struggling with not dying unless I die one time. This is the uh, amount of Serix aid I still have on the ground, and I have three here in my inventory. But that means I'm still using quite a lot because I die with 23 of them, or maybe it's 22, and I only have, well, 10 or 9 left on the ground here. Yeah, 9 of them. So, I'm using a lot of Sarah Domin Bruce because I also bring inventory, so I still can't do a deathless run, and my raids are like 1 hour still, so I still have a lot of practice to do. Raiding solo is very hard to learn, but let's see if we get a purple. 26,000 points. Nope. So not a single purple in 30kc, which I guess is kind of expected when I get 20k points per raid on estimate, or roughly I mean. But uh, I think I'm probably, with the points I get, getting pretty close to the drop rates of an item. So my goal is to just get one purple, and hopefully I can get that pretty soon. Watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you like.
So with that done, let's have a look at the slides and the first one is of course very interesting because I added some Kree Aura kill count but most importantly all the way from 200 to 1000 giant mole kills. I'm really happy about that grind, it made me a lot of money and it gave me a decent chance of the pet and it was very enjoyable I would say. So in the future I will most likely get back to giant mole, it is a pet I would love to have. Now for slide 2, we added a small amount of kill count to the Kraken and the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. Other than that, we went from 22 to 30 raids completed. And from now on, I really want to try and get a purple, so I might focus pretty hard on solo raids. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do a zero death raid in a bit. But if I get maybe armadillo gear instead of the carols I'm using, I might be able to do it. But the main focus of my raiding is just to get one purple. So if I have to die once just to uh, have a decent chance of getting purples every time, I can do deal with that. But that will do it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, I would really appreciate if you guys clicked any of the videos on the screen in just a bit. Or if you want to subscribe to my channel to see when I post my videos. That is also greatly appreciated. Also, if you do want to, you can leave a like on the video to support it. And uh, I would love to see you guys at that fashion contest I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I have a separate video where I explain everything if you want the information, which was the last video I posted. And I uh, hope it's going to be a great time and someone is going to win 15 million GP. It would be very cool to uh, see some awesome outfits as well in the video game. I mean, I've been uh, seeing so many good outfits on uh, Reddit and other people in game. And I I've always been like, dude, there has to be some competition for this. I mean, come on. There has to be some place where people can show all these awesome outfits out. Because there are some really good ones. But um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.